Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HP ProLine DL360 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to network cards. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we're gonna talk about different compatible interfaces, the different speeds. We're gonna show you a close up of both types of network cards. You have your flexible LOM, which I like to call the FLOM, and then you have your PCIe cards. Um, personally, I'm a big fan of the FLOM because there's a dedicated uh, carved out section in the back over here that we'll show you in a minute. I like to use that that way. I don't have to use my PCIe slots and I can use those for other things, especially with the 360. Now the 380, it's not as big a deal because you have more PCIe slots, but for the 360, I'm a big, big fan of uh, use your FLOM, uh, save your PCIe slots for other things. So, and technically you can do both. You can put uh, an FLOM in and you can put, uh, add networking cards so that you have you know, more networking options. These are all, all things that you can do as a whole. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, hop into the different interfaces. So you have RJ45, you have SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP, and QSFP56. So those are the different uh, types of interfaces. So the speeds you'll have one gigabit, eight gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16 gigabit, 25 gigabit, 32 gigabit, 40 gigabit, or all the way up to 100. So those will be the different speed options that you can have, and you can mix and match those a little bit along the way. So, um, all right, so now that we know uh, more about the speeds and the interfaces, uh, what we're gonna do is actually do a quick close up and show you the PCIe versus the FLOM, and then we're gonna show you how to install them. All right, have my EST gear on. We're safe to work on our 360 Gen 10. So I wanted to lay out uh, both options. We have our FLOM, our flexible LOM, and we have our PCIe network card. We're gonna install both of them. And what we're gonna need in order to do this is the T10 and T15 bit. And specifically, the T10 will be used to take out the bracket where the FLOM goes, and the T15 will be used to screw the FLOM down, whereas the PCIe card actually doesn't need uh, any tools whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and toss these to the side. We're going to pop off our top and remove the lid. Everything is going to be worked on back here. All right, so we're going to start by removing our riser. So our riser is just going to come straight up. Sometimes you have to use a little elbow grease. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install our flex LOM back here. So uh, in order to install the flex LOM, we're gonna have to uh, remove this bracket. So we're gonna get our T10 bit, remove this screw to start, and our bracket is out. So now we'll take this screw out, put it to the side. All right, so we'll put our flexible LOM in first. So I like to pretty much put it all the way in the corner, get our interface, uh, lined up and situated first, and then we can start to uh, bring this in as a whole and just get all the leads fully in. Um, and then once we're done, we're gonna take our T15, we're gonna screw this back down. All right, so just like that, our FLOM is good to go. So what we'll do now is we are going to use uh, our riser here to install our PCIe slot. So what we're gonna need, to, or PCIe network card, I should say. So what we're gonna need to do first is remove this bracket here. So we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver in order to do that. All right, so that's how easy it was to install our flexible LOM. So now, before we reinstall our riser, we are gonna go ahead and put in a PCIe network card. And again, you can have your FLOM and a network card in. Uh, you can actually put a couple network cards in. So uh, what we're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver, which I did tell you you're not gonna need anything earlier, and I was mistaken. You will need a Phillips head uh, to remove the screw right here in order to take Take off the bracket. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove this screw. We'll take our bracket off and now we have space to install a network card. All right, so we're gonna take the three points and line them up. So let's start with the top and get that all lined up. And then we're gonna get our two connection points right here lined up. And once everything is into place, you just simply 
push it in and you'll see it's fully inserted and then once we're done we're going to take the same Phillips head that we had and we are going to screw this back on and this will just help to lock your PCIe card into place with the riser even though it's already connected uh, this will just make it a little bit more firm and then now all we're going to do is just reinstall our riser here so we're going to take uh, our riser and just put it back into place and then just simply push this down make sure it's a hundred percent flush and you're good to go and you just put your lid back on and you're done so hey if you made it this far click that like smash that subscribe and if you're looking for any custom built servers hpe dell supermicro ibm cisco we do new and use and we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business thanks for stopping by guys take care